443. Welcome back to the Spider's Web here on uh, CFRB. You're into the land of outspoken read. We tell it like it is here. Uh, with me is the director of the movie called Quarter Life Crisis, Vince Sanuto. And uh, it will be opening at the uh, Italian be, yeah, Film Italian Festival. Film Festival. Oh, Toronto Italian. Toronto Italian All Film right. Festival. Tony poked me in the arm and, like, mentioned it's part of the festival. I'm like, Tony, okay. of course, being uh, our good friend. He's uh, got a good, my, a good, my good friend, too, man. Helped a lot. A uh, cameraman extraordinaire. You can, you can do it all, man. Well, that's He's what an he expert says. ski instructor. He can edit movies. Uh, ski. He's a cinematographer. He can't even stand up straight. I know he's going to ski. <laughs> I can <laughs> ski with one leg. <laughs> how did this guy get it in there? You know how to turn a mic on, don't you? Oh, oh did I not speak into the mic? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's talk about the, a little bit more about this movie. Yeah, yeah. You say it cost you $8,500. Yeah, yeah. well, can, you, can you make a movie look that good? Well, you know what? I'm very proud to be a Canadian. And if, and if I wasn't a Canadian, this movie would never have been made. Uh, during pre-production... Uh, I actually got in a horrible cycling accident, and I had my spleen removed. And mm-hmm. now, if I were an American, that operation would have cost me sixteen thousand dollars. That film budget would have like gone to like the operation. Keep you healthy. And you know what? Yeah. Like, if uh, if you're a Canadian citizen and uh, you pay your taxes, uh, you've uh, indirectly funded the quarter life crisis, man. Wow! So we're all part of yeah, this. You guys man. are all if executive for producers, the taxpayers. Man. The guys under the That's table right. mean nothing here. Okay. But thank thank God for <laughs> universal health care, man. I got to make a movie because of it. Man. But how do you make? I, I mean, Jesus, it's pretty difficult. How many cameras did you use? Uh, we had uh, we, one one camera setup. Yeah. One camera one setup. Ca- one camera setup. Well, yeah. I was in a movie that, that I believe. What was that one? Uh, uh, Lee's offering. Lee's offering. Yeah. If you're going to talk, go into the, uh, the yes. mic, please. Don't Sorry. don't make the show sound cheesy, <laughs> my friend. Okay, here I am. <laughs> but uh, you know, but I, was that one camera too? One. Well, no. Some scenes we had two cameras. Yeah. There were certain stunts we had two cameras. So long. Is this, what is the length of this movie? Uh, Ninety-two minutes. If, 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 you, if you like Clerks or Office Space or Swingers, if you like those types of movies, uh, you'll love Quarter Life Crisis. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and who are the ladies here? Oh, yeah. Actually, uh, Cher. Actually, it's funny because me and Cher, we worked together at uh, the rinks. I'm still there. And uh, she was an aspiring actress. And mm-hmm. I told her that. Are you know, we all? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm Italian, so I'm like a you know, I'm a like... natural born drama queen. But the whole world's a stage, and everybody's an actor. But but uh, so these the uh, and uh, Actually, Cher. I'll and tell who you else? about Cher because Cher Cher's a friend of mine. She's a very sweet girl, mm-hmm. and I you know I told her like she's she, not hard to look at. <laughs> I told her years ago that like I was an uh, aspiring director, and you mm-hmm. know like every actor's heard that crap all the time. You know? Absolutely. You know, especially the girls and stuff like that. They always think like the guys are always coming like on to them. A, and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a, I mean it works, it's a man. Line. No, yeah, no, they use not it in Hollywood it does, all the man. time, though. Not for me, it does, man. No. I think it's pretentious. I, I, I never <laughs> pull that stuff out. No, but you're not in Hollywood, neither. Where I mean, we're talking about guys that chase women. They love, they got cards especially made that says producer on them or director. Yeah, and, yeah, right, right. And he's yeah. little, everybody's looking for, a, looking for a step up, man, you know. Well, it's, it's funny because Cher would always uh, supply me with free fountain drinks at the, mm-hmm. the rinks because uh, I was always like a, oh, a tight walk with listening. money and stuff like that. And she, like she always got, she was always so nice to me and stuff like that. And then she quit her job, and uh, I tracked her down, and I told her I'm going to finally, like, make this movie. And uh, mm-hmm. How yeah, long she, did it take you? Uh, we started shooting, uh, actually, pre-production June 2005, and then, then I got into my accident, so I, I was out until, like, September. But we shot it over 26 days, mm-hmm. and, uh, like, the post-production uh, uh, was about, about six to eight months, and then we had to keep recutting it, recutting it, recutting it. Yeah. And just like figuring it out because I di- I didn't go to film school and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm, for me, it's just a learning uh, a learning procedure. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you know what? Uh, and and hopefully it uh, does. Well, where do you hope to go with this movie? In the main theaters or on a DVD? Oh, or I, I, I hope it gets uh, distributed. The thing is, is like over these past months, I've actually got, uh, made like cold calls to major film distributors, like the Weinstein Company, MTV Films. <gasps> And uh, I've even, like, managed to get the attention of, an, of a Hollywood agent. So they all know about me. But the fact is, is uh, it's, it's, it's a small movie without name actors, and it's going to be difficult to sell it. Oh, maybe and TV. Th- and the thing is, appearing on your show and stuff like that, it just uh, gives it, I guess, uh, more more legitimacy and more power. The fact that I'm on the Spider Jones show, it's amazing. You're being kind, like, but, uh, yeah. you know, we're running out of time. But listen, uh 
Yeah, man. People want to come out to see this movie. Yeah. So uh, Thursday, sorry, uh, Thursday, June seventh, nine thirty p.m. at the Bloor Cinema. If you want more information, go to quarterlifecrisismovie.com. Congratulations on on, on on your effort, man. Well, let me I, ask you: like when you were in your twenties, have you always had aspirations to uh, get into radio? Or well, like, I, I, I had asp- your, uh, I had aspirations, but at twenty, in my mid twenties, it wasn't a crisis. I was getting f- three free meals a day at Millbrook Reformatory, yeah. Yeah. and uh, you know it was it was a little different then. It became quite of a crisis when I went I got out. But you know what? Dreams dreams I, come to those who go after them. Actually, in the movie, we also talk about that because you have these people in their 20s and they're pretty much like given everything. And, you know, what right do they have to complain? Because there are people that are actually going through like legitimate crises, stuff like what you just described. On that note, we got to leave uh, Vince Sanuto. Congratulations, quarter life crisis. And uh, I will see you again. I I hope so. Thank you. All right. uh, We'll be back. You're listening to The Spider. Keep it right here on CFRB 1010.